Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Rio. Today, I'm with E to talk about Kubernetes. Kubernetes is an open source system for automating deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. When you deploy Kubernetes, you get a cluster. Cluster consists of two parts, control plane and worker machines. In AWS, EC2 instance can be used as worker nodes. However, we have two methods to build and deploy control plane. AWS EKS and a Kubernetes operation, COPS for short. Next, I will let E introduce their advantage and the disadvantage, and how we should choose between those tools. Hello, everyone. Today, I will introduce EKS and COPS for you. Let's start with EKS. EKS is a managed service that makes it easy for you to use Kubernetes on AWS without needing to install and operate your own Kubernetes control plane. As we really introduced before, EKS only covers control plane components, and you still need to launch and configure the worker nodes yourself. The biggest advantage is that EKS is deeply integrated with services such as Amazon CloudWatch, auto scaling groups, and IAM. Besides, it's EKS, it's AWS that helps maintain and update the EKS control plane. And that's why EKS is highly stable and available. Next, I will demonstrate how to create EKS cluster in AWS console. In EKS service page, choose create a cluster. Type your cluster name. Choose, choose your EKS service IAM role. And then, and then click next. Configure subnets and the security groups. And then click next. Finally, configure your login level. And review all configure all previous configuration and click create create. You will have an available EKS cluster. Then you will get a control control panel, panel and a point, and you need to do two extra steps to connect to EKS cluster. The first thing is to install a command line utility called the control for communicating with the cluster API server. The second step is to use AWS command line to generate a config file. The command line looks like this. As for COPS, COPS is a tool that helps you create, destroy, upgrade, and maintain production-grade, highly available Kubernetes cluster from the command line. COPS is officially supported in AWS, and its workflow is simple. Launch an EC2 instance as control plane and several other EC2 instances as worker nodes, and configure all the things so all together 
they can work as a complete Kubernetes cluster. COPS is difficult than EKS to use because you have to maintain upgrades and troubleshoot the Kubernetes cluster yourself, and you have to be very clear about its configuration. However, COPS is a free open source tool. So in this scenario, you only pay for EC2 instance. An EKS cluster costs almost five times more than launch COPS. And cost efficiency is the biggest advantage of COPS when compared with EKS. However, it takes more effort to maintain it. To get started with COPS on AWS, the first step is to install COPS in your local machine. For example, you can install COPS via Homebrew in Mac operating system. Second step is to configure DNS configuration. Because each Kubernetes cluster must have a domain name. And in EKS, AWS will do it for you. But in COPS, we should do it ourselves. Third step is to test the DNS and prepare a S3 as a storage center. During the whole process, we should have an S3 bucket to store artifacts. After all preparation, the fourth step is to create cluster locally with COPS command line. As COPS is highly integrated with and supported by AWS, it will launch one EC2 instance as control panel and several EC2 instances as worker nodes. Then you can customize cluster configuration and use the cluster as you wish. COPS is a free tool. You only pay AWS for EC2 instances and other necessary resources. No matter you adopt EKS or COPS to build your Kubernetes cluster, you can always use control to communicate with it. Here is an example. Okay, thank you, E. If you would like to know more about the managing and deploy automation to COPS or EKS, please subscribe to us for more future videos. Thank you, see you later. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.